Hello everyone, in this video we will be reviewing Prince Metal's Variant Angina. This is a severe ischemic pain that occurs at rest but not usually with exertion and is associated with transient SD segment elevation. This occurs due to focal spasm of epicardial coronary artery leading to severe MI. The episodes typically occur between midnight and 6 am. This is not a hard and fast time, but the most of the episodes are between midnight and 6 to 8 am in the morning. Uh, each episode typically can be uh, described by some patients as just a normal discomfort. For some patients, it might woke them up from sleep and they might describe it as a typical chest pain spreading to their uh, jaw, neckline and their left arm. Some might describe that as a uh, nausea or heartburn. So symptoms have a range. And before we proceed further, would just like to uh, focus on this fact that it was Dr. Prince Metal uh, in the year 1959 who first described this particular type of angina. Before 1959, it was the work of uh, Dr. Heberden who was who had described uh, the typical angina which occurs with exertion the physical exertion and associated with atherosclerotic plaque but uh, Dr. Prince Metal's findings of this particular some particular set of patients did not match with the earlier findings on the subject so he researched about it and came forward with the uh, Prince Metal's angina and subsequently a lot of research was done on this subject uh, let's move ahead. Now coming to cause. Cause even uh, till date is not very clearly defined. Uh, that it's not being pinpointed but we know a lot about the disease. This may be due to uh, hypercontractility of vascular smooth muscle. Uh, to the vasoconstrictor mitogens, leukotrienes or serotonin. The basically the endothelial smooth muscle becomes hypersensitive in certain set of uh, patients to uh, various forms of mitogens, leukotrienes or serotonins. Uh, this uh, Prince Metal's variant angina is most commonly uh, seen in patients who smoke and for people who have high blood pressure or high cholesterol. This thing here, high blood pressure, high cholesterol and people who smoke. Now this, this, this is a list of things which may precipitate an attack. The coronary arteries can spasm as a result of exposure to cold weather, exposure to stress, medicines that narrow the smooth muscles and smoking, cocaine use. Uh, many a times you will find patients typically describing history residing in cold areas or in winters. Uh, early morning experiencing a pain or syncopal attack and immediately getting relieved of that attack and then you are uh, you must have this diagnosis although this is, a, this is a rare disease only two out of hundred cases of angina will have prince metals angina but nonetheless it still is a diagnosis and you should always keep uh, this thing in your background clinical and angiographic manifestations of pva the patients are usually younger and with less coronary risk factors. This uh, this thing, the less coronary risk factor is certainly in contrast with other diseases like unstable angina or NSTEMI in which there is uh, considerable risk factor. So in uh, PVA, the patients are younger and they have less risk factors, less coronary risk factors as compared to other cardiovascular diseases which lead to MI. Now there may be, uh, there will be a transient ST segment elevation with rest pain. This is a classical uh, thing which is seen in PVA. Even at rest, uh, the pain which occurs at rest will show ST segment elevation. And when the pain subsides, the ST segment uh, elevation goes. This happens in PVA. Many patients will uh, may also exhibit multiple episodes of asymptomatic ST segment elevation which is termed it as silent ischemia. There will be no pain they are admitted for some other reason 
and they are being monitored on ECG there you will find ST segment elevation but then you ask the patient they have no complaint absolutely no pain nothing but on monitoring you find ST segment elevation this is a silent ischemia and it goes away after some time on coronary angiography the transient coronary spasm is the hallmark of VVN now some things to remember if there is a presence of atherosclerotic plaque the spasm usually occurs within one centimeter of the plaque this is a statistically significant information focal spasm of uh, most commonly occurs in right coronary artery now the third point here this one to establish diagnosis sometimes coronary spasm are provoked but this uh, sometimes they are provoked but this is done only in a well equipped hospital setting they are provoked by ergonovin acetylcholine and hyperventilation to vis uh, to visualize uh, spasm with angioscopy and to uh, obtain an ecg with the ht segment segment elevation there should be third thing also in diagnosis of these things the first thing is sc segment elevation at rest pain second you visualize the coronary spasm on angioscopy the third thing is when you relieve uh, when you give treatment uh, the nitrates or calcium channel blockers this thing should completely reverse it relieves when you have three tick marks then the diagnosis of pva is made now the question is aspirin to be used in treatment aspirin may actually increase the severity of ischemic episodes possibly as a result of sensitivity of coronary tone to modest changes in synthesis of prostacyclin how, how is this important prostacyclin is a smooth muscle vasodilator and what this does is aspirin inhibits the production of arach arachidonic acid derivatives and prostacyclin is one of those derivatives so aspirin will inhibit prostacyclin and since prostacyclin is no more available smooth muscle relaxation does not happen rather it becomes more sensitive to contractile elements uh, this should be remembered high dose aspirin therapy is contraindicated for patients of pva as far as therapy is concerned nitrates and calcium antagonists are used as drug therapy coronary revascularization is uh, as invasive procedure the nitrates and calcium should be able to reverse the symptoms at the time of diagnosis as i just said earlier so thank you so much guys this was the first review of uh, prince metals variant angina kindly subscribe us for more such videos thank you